Sandra here from Carcraft Auto Detailing in Melbourne. Today's video is a look at waterless and rinseless car wash products and techniques. Although these products were developed to address a need for car washing under water restrictions and drought, they have evolved through technology and technique to become a widely accepted and adopted method to conveniently and safely wash vehicles. And what really sets them apart is their chemistry. Whereas traditional car wash products rely on mild detergents and their foaming action to both clean and lubricate the car's paint, waterless and rinseless washers use advanced polymers and mild chemicals to achieve this, but the real difference between the two is their residue or lack of it. Attempting to dry your car's paint after washing it with a traditional car wash product without rinsing it first will result in a poor, streaky, sticky finish at best but doing the very same thing with a rinseless product usually results in a clear, streak-free finish. There seems to be a bit of controversy surrounding these products and their safety in relation to causing paint scratches. Firstly, no matter what product you use to wash a car and how safe you think you are, as long as you're making contact with the paint, you will be to some level introducing scratches. What you can do, however, is massively reduce both the amount and severity of those scratches by adopting safer car washing methods as well as understanding the limitations of these products. Attempting a waterless wash on a vehicle caked in mud and covered with environmental contaminants is pushing past the limitations of these products. That's where a little common sense and the use of pressure washers and pre-soak foams come in handy. But having said that, I've come to love these products for certain situations where water is neither available or appropriate, such as vehicles that are stored indoors and classic cars that are water sensitive and prone to corrosion, and for vehicles that are washed regularly before a significant amount of contaminants is allowed to build up and bond to the paint, waterless wash products are not only a quicker option but just as safe as traditional washing when the correct methods are employed. So let's have a look at some of these products in relation to their cleaning ability, finish, cost and overall performance, starting with rinseless washing. This method is quite similar to how you would normally wash your car, in relation to filling up your bucket with water and the product, and then going about washing the car from top to bottom, rinsing the wash pad as you go. The only real difference is that you don't rinse the car before or after you're done. You just dry it at the end with your microfiber cloth or towel. Rinseless washing has also evolved into using the two bucket method and a microfiber wash mint or cloth over the traditional scratch prone foam sponges. Although rinseless washing existed before this product, Optimum's No Rinse or O&R Wash and Shine was and is the product that not only took it to the next level but introduced this washing method to the mass market. O&R is both a benchmark and a standard by which I judge all other rinseless products. It may look and feel strange the first time you use it, as it's a foamless, watery consistency that defies logic, but it's very capable at encapsulating dirt and safely removing it from the car's paint. As all rinseless washers do, it will leave behind a trail of residue, but a light pass with your drying towel will address that quite easily, leaving behind a beautiful clean finish to rival most conventional car wash detergents. It's a highly concentrated formula that mixes 1 to 256 parts water, working out to about $1.75 per wash using a 15 litre bucket at $28 per litre of concentrate, or less than a dollar per wash when bought in bulk. But its abilities aren't limited there. You can also take a microfiber cloth, wet and wring it out in your O&R solution and continue to clean and wipe down your car's interior including the windows that come up fantastic with a final buff. As you may have gathered, I'm a big O&R fan, as it's difficult to find a rinseless wash that can match it on value, performance and versatility. Next is Optimum's No Rinse Wash & Wax. As the name suggests, it takes the standard O&R and adds a wax to its finish. Its dilution ratio is identical, but at $35 a litre, it's slightly more expensive. Its cleaning ability is on par with wash and shine, but it may take an extra wipe or two with your drying cloth to finish down well. 
However, it does produce a smoother, glossier finish than its older brother. As I've mentioned in a previous video, I don't like using wash and wax products on paints that have high grade sealants or coatings applied as these cheaper waxes mask the superior coatings finish and abilities. But for waxed or unprotected cars, this product is a great option that delivers fantastic results. I want to start by saying that I'm impressed that Turtle Wax had the balls to make a rinseless wash, whereas many other consumer brands have shied away. But, and it's a big but by the way, that's where my praise for this product ends. At $16.50 a litre, you might think that sounds great, right? Wrong. It has a dilution ratio of 1 to 64 parts water, which is 4 times weaker than O&R, meaning you use 4 times as much product. Bring in the cost of a 15 litre bucket fill to over $4 per wash, making it the most expensive car wash product in this category. If it was a brilliant class leading product, I could justify it. But it just isn't. It actually works fine and is capable at safely removing dirt and contaminants, though its residue is harder to remove than O&R and its finish is a step down. Next is a newer product by CarPro called Echo. As well as being a rinseless wash at 1 to 200 parts water, it's also a great clay lubricant at 1 to 40, a quick detailer at 1 to 25, and lastly a waterless wash at a 1 to 15 dilution. The truth is that most rinseless washes can be adapted through dilution to work as waterless washes, clay lubes and quick detailers and vice versa. However, most manufacturers will not disclose this information as it limits their ability to sell more products. But the issue with trying to formulate the correct dilutions yourself is that it takes time and effort along with trial and error. Too strong a dilution and you'll have excess residue issues not strong enough will lead to poor performance and potentially scratching the paint. Those are some of the reasons why I'm a fan of CarPro products. Rather than having to carry and buy four different products, I can stock one that can do four different things. And the best part is that CarPro have done all the testing and give you, the user, all the best dilution ratios for each specific application. Echo is a touch more expensive than O&R and basically the same price as O&R wash and wax. It does take a touch more effort to use and wipe down cleanly, but it is well worth it in my opinion. Both its finish and cleaning ability is without a doubt class leading and hard to believe that a cleaning product can deliver such a finish. As with most CarPro products, it's SiO2 based. so. It also works great at maintaining the sealants and coatings. It's taken many years and although I'm still trialing this product, I feel like I may have found my new go-to rinseless and waterless product in one. Now onto waterless wash products. In comparison to rinseless washing, there is far more variety of these products around. Many being pre-mixed, ready to use spray bottles. And you should brace yourself when calculating the cost per wash of these mixed solutions as they are about 5 to 10 times more expensive than rinseless washing. But if you're like me and like using waterless washing regularly, I strongly suggest you find these products in bulk and concentrated forms as it drastically reduces the price and makes them a viable option for regular use. Using a safe washing technique is vital in waterless washing more so than any other. My method is to work a panel at a time, spray the solution liberally and using a microfiber cloth, fold it three times to create 16 sides, wipe in straight lines with no pressure, turning to a clean side of the cloth for every new pass and then immediately buffing the area with a clean cloth to finish down flawlessly. You can also have a look at my how to waterless wash video to see how I use this technique. So let's have a look at some of these products, starting with Optimum's OptiClean. So just to give you an idea of the cost difference between pre-mixed and concentrated box solutions, OptiClean costs about $15 per wash as a pre-mix, whereas diluting the same amount of concentrate yourself will cost about $1.50 per wash for the exact same product. Pretty significant difference to say the least. But having said that, OptiClean has been my go-to waterless wash for years. With a great cleaning ability and excellent finish, there's not a lot to fault there. And at the fact that it's a great clay lube, 
capable quick detailer and it really is a cost-effective multi-purpose winner. A new offering from Meguiar's is their Ultimate Anywhere Wash and Wax. Very similar to their Ultimate Spray Wax in finish, it adds some extra lubrication in its chemistry making it a very capable waterless wash. The first thing you notice when spraying it on a panel is that Meguiar's beautifully sweet trademark smell. Honestly, sometimes I even question myself whether I really like their products or I'm just drawn to the smell. But seriously, this is a very capable product. On a side-by-side -side comparison with OptiClean, its cleaning action is a step down and it does require more work to buff off its residue. But the finish is definitely a step up in both its slick shine and its smooth to the touch finish. If you're after that just wax look and feel in a waterless wash product, this is the one for you. But unless your pockets are deeper than mine, this $35 bottle, which is good for about two washes, puts it at one of the most expensive products here. If you're a local, you may have seen this no H2O product range in your auto store. Seeing their products at 50% off, I thought, what the hell, and bought a couple. This is their waterless wash and polish labeled product. And after trying it, I came to the conclusion that this is a perfect example of someone with no real detailing or car care experience trying to find an eco-friendly angle to enter this market. The fact that the word polish was added to this product's description should be enough to set off alarm bells as it obviously has zero polishing capabilities. But that aside, it is the cheapest waterless wash premix I've come across, though I'm not entirely convinced that it is a true waterless wash. It just doesn't provide any real significant lubrication or dirt encapsulation. Really, it works, looks and feels like a glass cleaner, even evaporating quickly on a warm day where the OptiClean had no issues. And that's about all I have to say about this product. Next up is Detailers Pro Waterless Auto Wash Concentrate. I actually really like this product. It's got a great cleaning ability, leaves a nice finish, and at about $30 for a litre of concentrate that makes up 4 litres, it sits at a very reasonable $2.50 per wash. The only reason I wouldn't make this my go-to waterless wash is that it really sits on par with OptiClean overall. But at about a dollar more per wash than OptiClean and twice the price of CarPro's Echo, it just falls a little short on value. On to Poor Boy's Spray and Wipe. What distinguishes this product from many others is its honest cleaning ability. Unlike most products here, it doesn't leave any noticeable wax or sealant properties behind, focusing in on what essentially waterless wash products should be doing, which is safely and conveniently cleaning your car, which it does exceptionally well. If this product was available as a concentrate, I could definitely be persuaded to making a switch and using it. But as a premix, even in larger quantities, it's still two to three times the cost of OptiClean and four to five times the cost of Echo. Lastly is Polish Angel's Spray Duster. At $30 for this tiny 200ml bottle, which is good for about half your car, it's far and away the most expensive wash product here and perhaps on the market. Though it is available in a one litre form, which provides better value, but is still a pricey tag. So how good is it, you may ask? It's a nice product, no question. Its finish is up there with the best products here, but I'd put its cleaning ability at about mid-range. I almost feel strange reviewing this product alongside all the other ones in this video, as it's in a different realm from the others. Products like Spray Duster and other offerings from Polish Angel and companies like Swissfax, for me, aren't about making correct or informed decisions to find value. They are products that appeal to the enthusiast in me, wanting to believe that this will be the greatest product of all time. And whether it's right or wrong, there's something about this tiny, insanely expensive car wash bottle that makes the experience feel special. The detailer and business owner in me knows that although this is a nice product, it does absolutely nothing special to justify its price. But the enthusiast in me doesn't really care. Just like that $500 tin of car wax, it's not about the value. It's about the experience of treating yourself to something extravagant occasionally that puts a smile on your face without having to justify it. 
and that's a hard thing to put a price on. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe to show your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.